1. Approach finding a job as if it were a full-time job, because it is. If you had a job, you would report to work at the same time each day, like 8 a.m., take an hour, or less, for lunch, and quit at the same time each day, like 5 p.m. You would work five days every week. And you would work hard to accomplish as much as you could because your career depended upon it. When you are searching for a job, you should follow the same type of schedule because your future depends upon it. Treating your job search like a part-time hobby guarantees that it will take longer. So, begin tomorrow by reporting to work and spending the day on tasks that lead to a job. 2. Approach finding a job as if it were a project. That means you should set goals for yourself, make plans, and monitor your progress. You should apply all of the tools and skills that you used in your last job to the project of finding your next job. As you must expect, this is an important project. The sooner you complete it, the sooner you gain a promotion into a job. 3. Be your own boss. Set expectations for what you need to accomplish, provide direction, and monitor your work. Meet with yourself once each week to evaluate your performance. I recommend doing this by writing two reports. The first is a candid evaluation of what you accomplished during the previous week. The second is a description of your plans for the coming week. Your plans should include your goals, actions, and priorities. The first time that you write these reports, write an evaluation of what you have done so far. Describe the results that this effort has produced. And compare these results with what you wanted to have. Next, map out a realistic plan for the next week based on achievable goals. For example, you could set goals for the number of people you will call, the number of networking meetings you will attend, and the research you will conduct. In the coming weeks, compare the results that you obtained during the previous week with the goals that you set. For example, if you plan to attend 12 networking meetings and you attended only two, you should a. explain why this happened and b. plan actions that will correct such a difference. You should also analyze why you missed your goal because this provides insights on what you need to do differently. For example, your goal, e.g., of attending 12 networking meetings may have been set too high. Or maybe there are things you can do that will make it easier to achieve your job search goals, such as carpooling with a friend who is also looking for a job. Finding a job is a full-time job. Work through it with a plan and the support of a good boss, yourself. I wish you the best of success.